Hey, forever beautiful. Thanks for coming back checking me out, y'all. Now, don't kill me because I was supposed to do this video last night, right? It was supposed to be a double upload. But I was on the phone running my mouth, blah, blah, blah. Got too late, so yeah. Here I am. Here I am. Now, before we get into this uh, video, um, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you're privy to every single video that I upload, y'all. Okay, so I just came to church. And I have got to get out of here shortly, but I want to give y'all this video before I get busy. Now, y'all see the title already, so there's no need to go into that. Now, <clears throat> good helpers make great leaders. This is absolutely true, right? Now, at some point or another, we have to take direction from somebody. Now, let's start as a kid. So, I always wanted to be an actress, right? I'm good at it. You know, I got a little drama sometimes. And sometimes I purposely do it, blah, 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 because it's funny. You know, people expect it. There ain't nothing wrong with it, right? But if I could have done it, I would have, right? So, I know that I would have had to follow somebody else's lead in order to do that. And I had to take direction in order to do that, right? I don't think I was that passionate about it. You know, as a kid, you always showing out and uh, uh, having a good time. And you make a lot of folks laugh. So, could I have been a com a, an actress? Absolutely. Could I be a comedian? Absolutely. It ain't too late. You know, but I'm not passionate about that. I like to do those things in my pastime, right? Now, let's even start with chefs. You know, as a kid, you were always in the kitchen with somebody. Your mother, your granny, your great-grandparents, somebody like I was, right? And I wanted to learn. I wanted to know. I wanted to do. So guess what? Every morning, I was in the kitchen with my big mama. And I saw, I'm a little, little girl. I'm sorry, I was so little that I could walk under the table, okay? So I'm a little girl where I'm standing on a, on a, like a step stool. And she always said, well, hand me this. Put a pinch of this in there. Put a little bit of that in there. And I'm like, I don't know how much to put. She said, just a pinch. And she showed me exactly what a pinch was was right now no measurements uh exactly they knew obviously because they have been doing it for so many years so as far as that went she was the leader okay of two households you know and she cooked for uh, uh both sides you know and um it was always something to learn if you were willing to learn it now as a kid we should always want to be and should always be curious about what this is, what that is. Oh, I like how that tastes. I like how that looks. So this is how we learn. And if none of these things are ever before you, how are you going to learn it? You're not. But again, if you are not interested in it and you are not passionate about it, you can care less about that because that's not your thing. That's not for you. But it was for me. Now... I enjoy cooking, you know. I'm passionate about multiple things. It's not just one. Hair, went to school for that. Makeup, definitely can do that. Know how to do that. You know, decorating, design, catering, writing, all of these things, right? Those are the things that I'm passionate about, and that's why I still do those things today, okay? So, I think I am well off. In those areas you know why because I was led by somebody you know I was a great helper in every arena of those things right and that's why I know how to do them well so today and for some years now um, I have been my own leader now we ain't talking about him because obviously he is the ultimate leader Okay, he is the ultimate guide, and he's ultimate in every single thing, okay? But um, we learn because we listen, because we pay attention, because we do. We got to be hands-on with these things if we want to be good at it. So, 
you know, in those areas, I'm absolutely happy about those things. Now, in order to be a great leader, you have to be a good helper, right? Now, I have taken care of people one way or another all of my life, right? All of my life. And I'll tell you, it can be the, from the smallest thing to the biggest thing. You know, if somebody falls and gets scraped, you know, you know how to clean it and you know how to bandage it up, right? That's just common sense. And, uh, of course, you need to know the proper things to do that with. you got to make sure your hands are clean. They're sterilized, not like you're about to go into surgery because you're not. But you still want to clean your hands and whatever areas just the same, right? Now, I was never interested in being a nurse, like a registered nurse, even a, a LPN. Now, I was a CNA for a while, and I did... Um, I did do like home health care, that kind of thing, but I was never interested in being a nurse. You know, if I was, I could have been. You know, I definitely started out right. You know, it's always steps to where you're going and what you're doing, which meant that I had to listen to other folks. They had to teach me, you know, to take the proper steps to get to where I want to be if that's where I wanted to be. You know, and, uh, you know, this goes with every single thing. Now, I took, um, you know, one year I had this, this cutlass, not year, but I had this cutlass, right? And, oh, she was clean inside and out, okay? And uh, that was my baby. I loved that little car, Rosenwood. She was pretty. And um, somebody bought that car for me. And uh, at some point, I started having issues and stuff, right? And now, I couldn't wait for somebody else to come in and do what it is that they do, which would have been a mechanic, right? I took the water pump out of my car. Now, I don't claim to be a mechanic. If I wanted to be, guess what? I could have been. I'm not passionate about that. But I definitely could do it. I pushed myself. Okay, and I took it out. Can I change a flat tire? I surely can. Can I um, uh, um, do oil and, you know, the antifreeze and put all of this stuff where it goes? Absolutely. But I don't claim to be a mechanic because that was not my thing. I did it because I felt like in those moments I had no choice. You know, we don't have to call on somebody else all the time to do some things that we can do on our own. But you have to want to do it in order for those things to happen. It ain't going to happen otherwise, okay? Now, you get a flat tire. I don't think it's difficult to change a tire as long as you got your four-way and you got a spare tire. This is simple math, y'all. Simple math. And you can get it done. You don't have to call somebody all the time to help you to do something when you haven't even tried it in the first place. Now, you ain't interest, interested in it, you want to pay out some money for somebody to come and do something that you can do yourself, then that's on you. Okay? I'm just saying. Now, I'm not a dentist. Okay? I am not a dentist. Have I ever pulled any of my teeth? Absolutely not. I don't want to touch them, especially when they're already hurting. I ain't going to do nothing but some damage. Okay? Now, have I taken a string, you know, as a kid? Have I taken a string and tied it around a tooth and pulled it out? Absolutely not. <laughs> no, why? Because I wasn't interested in doing that. I was already hurting. You know, and as a kid, you have little issues. They say they, they seem little to adult folks, to the grown folks. They be like, girl, let me just... I'm talking about they're going to put it around your tooth and then they're going to tie it to the doorknob and they're going to pull the doorknob and snatch it to you. You ain't about to do that to me. You're not about to do that. We ain't doing that. You know, and, uh, <laughs> but they try to. No. I am a girl. I'm a kid. I'm a little girl. No, we're not doing that. And, uh, but dentistry was never my thing. Now, if I wanted to do it, could I have? I could have. But I wasn't interested in it, so I wasn't going to be good at it. This is why I tell people all the time, whatever job 
it is that you're going for, whatever schooling and stuff that you have, make sure this is something that you want to do. Make sure that this is something you're going to stick to, you're going to participate in, and you're going to be great at it when you come out of it. If you're not interested, guess what? You ain't going to be good at it. Why would you be good at it? You wasn't interested in the first place. So when you're taking classes and you know you're going to be in school for a long time, y'all, make sure that this is going to be something that's going to be your career, okay? Make sure this is something you can absolutely do. You got to have time for it. If you got 20 different things going on, you ain't going to have time. So how are you going to be able to finish this? Oh, I'm going to make time. I'm going to figure it out. You got to figure this thing out before you get into it. You got to have a plan. Because don't think you just one day wake up and say, Oh, oh yeah, I think I'm going to uh, school to be a lawyer. I want to be an attorney. And so have you thought about this? Have you thought about how long this process is going to take? Uh, do you know what firm you're going to be at? Or, you know, what area are you going to be in? We have to know these things. We have to know. So don't get into something. If you know you don't take uh, direction well, if nobody likes to, nobody want to hear from somebody else telling them what to do all day, every day. This is a long process. Anything can be a long process. But be sure that you are going to be all the way, I'm talking about 150% in to this thing that you going to, are you going to finish it? You're going to see it through. You're going to get some resolve from this and make sure it works for you at the end of the day. Make sure it works for you. Okay? Don't spend a whole bunch of time on something that you're going to be like, you're going to get bored with it. You're going to say, oh, you know, I thought I really wanted to do this. So now your paperwork and stuff that you have, your certificate, your license or whatever it is, you did all of that for what? Now you're tired of it, you're bored with it. Oh, well, this ain't really what I want to do. Why did you take the time to take it then? Why did you take this class? So be sure that it's something that you want to do, y'all, because at the end of the day, you start as a helper, a good helper. Be a good helper, but you're going to be a great leader. People are going to be taking direction from you, okay, orders from you. I'm just saying. Okay, y'all. So, this is going to conclude this story time, y'all. And I will see you for the next video. Bye.